I've got like five books about sync licensing that I want to go through with you that I think you need to have. And I'm going to talk about why you should read them. And I'm going to provide some links for you to pick them up. Hello and welcome to a new episode of Other Record Labels. I'm your host, Scott Orr, where we talk about the art and culture of running an independent record label. And today's episode is part of our Summer of Sync series, where it's a um, 10 week long series where we focus on the topic of sync licensing. I've got five books on the topic of sync licensing or around the topic of sync licensing that I'm going to recommend to you and give you some of my feedback as I've read them all. I just want you to know about them because as we dive deep into this series and we do interviews with music supervisors and as we do interviews with sync agents or music libraries there's going to be so much for you and me to learn on this topic and so you might want to dive a little deeper especially if you're listening to this during the summer and and maybe you're a reader or you want to be a reader and so some of these books I'm actually going to recommend are super small and super easy to read and so if you're a good reader you can get them done in a day or two and if you're a slow reader that's cool you can get them done in a week or two I've got I've got five books I want to show you. And uh, I think you're going to find them very helpful. And they're all a little bit unique and different. By the way, in the sync licensing topic, make sure you download our free guide, otherrecordlabels.com slash sync, where I have a free guide where I've compiled a lot of the information that I've been learning in my interviews that I've already recorded for this series on sync licensing. And so I've uh, included a checklist and I've included some a terminology, a glossary, and then there's some other uh, templates that you can use in there. Otherrecordlabels.com slash sync licensing. While I'm the first book, while I'm tooting my own horn here, is this book uh, that other record labels put together, which is Sync Licensing for Record Labels. And this is like one of the only books on the market you'll find uh, that is directed specifically to record labels. And and what I've done is I've basically come up with 10 like essential things that you need to know, like keeping your catalog organized, for example, or preparing your audio uh, or using or looking for alternative licensing opportunities. And so this book, um, all of the books, I should have told you this at the beginning, all of the books I'm going to be talking about today are available, uh, links and a little bit of a description about these books. I compile all of my recommended books, and you know I've done these episodes before on other uh, music business books, but I compile them all at otherrecordlabels.com slash books otherrecordlabels.com slash books. And that's where the links will be for today's books that I talk about, including this one, which is another record labels book, a little shameless plug. And I'm going to stop talking about that one now, but that's a little, one of our little micro books, as you can see, and uh, you can devour that really quickly. Another book here, which is kind of an old book. So I don't like highly recommend this book because a lot of it's out of date and they don't, they have, as far as I can see, they haven't updated this book, but this is called The Musician's Guide to Licensing Music, How to Get Your Music into Film, TV, Advertising, Digital Media, and Beyond. And this was a book I actually picked up about 12 years ago when I first wanted to, to dive into it. And so we're going. there's going to be a lot about publishing that you'll learn from here and co-publishing and then the licensing agreements and, and how to find music supervisors and get in touch with music supervisors. If you can find a copy of this book used, then it doesn't hurt to have it and to skim through it. But like I said, because they haven't updated it, as far as I understand, there's going to be a lot of unapplicable, if that's a word, stuff in this book. But I wanted to show it to you because it's something I have in my collection. And there's things that you learn. There's terminology that you learn. It's a big book. Um, but you know what? It was worth a read. I think there's newer books coming on the market and there might even be, you know, workshops or courses or YouTube videos that m might uh, trump this a little bit. But if you can find a used copy or if they ever do update it into uh, the modern era, that would be really nice because, you know, when was this published? I, I mean, like I said, I read it maybe 10 or 12 years ago. So it's 2010, it was published. So at the time, it was very fresh. I bought this in 2011, I believe. And so now it's like it's 12 years old. That's a long time in, in the digital marketing world. Now, this next book is called All You Need to Know About the Music Business. And I've done a review about this. I've included this in my other book recommendations. And this is by Donald S. Passman. All you need to know about the music business. Rem remember, all of the books I'm talking about today are available on otherrecordlabels.com slash books. 
This book is not a book about sync licensing, but as I've said before, this is a Bible that everybody needs to have, every record label owner needs to have in their book collection because it's a reference book. And so there is a section on music licensing and it'll tell you about the copyright uh, things you need to worry about and, and who the people are and how much to expect in terms like most favored nations, which is a weird concept, but they talk about it in this book. So I would recommend this book for anyone who runs a record label or if you're an independent artist, you know I've said that before and I wanted to include it in today's pile because it has a section on sync licensing. And if you have, were on the fence about getting this because of the topics that it covers like publishing or artist management or recording contracts, uh, it also covers sync licensing. So it's relevant to our sync series. Okay, the final two books are my absolute favorite, and I just picked them up this year. They're both very, very new books. I think they're not more older than two years old, um, and they're they're wildly different, but they are the probably the most direct channel into the world of sync licensing that you can get right now. And so these are available on Amazon. I've linked to them on our website, and, and the link will be in the description of this episode. The first book is a book called Thinking in Sync by Amanda Craig Thomas. And the subtitle is A Primer on the Mind of a Music Supervisor. So Amanda is a music supervisor, and they, she has her bio here um, about what shows she's worked on. The Assassination of Gian, Gianni Versace. Do you remember that? show that was really good. It had a lot of great 80s music too. Uh, the Americans, uh, she was a music supervisor on. So this will give you the insight into a music supervisor. And one of the big things that we do as record labels or as independent artists looking for sync licensing opportunities is we send our music to music supervisors or we look for music supervisors to pitch our music to. And it's a dangerous game because we're very prone to piss them off and to annoy them or to have our emails lost and our pitches lost. Uh, and we, you know, we get nervous. We don't know how to pitch our music to them. And so Amanda gives you some incredible insights on how to get that done. This is a very small book. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you can see it's a very small book. However, it actually took me a week or two to read because I wanted to make sure I was getting everything. And so there's a lot of terminology. There's a great frequently asked questions section. There's a lot of terminology. There's a lot of internet companies and services that she recommends. Um, but the best thing is like getting direct insights from a working music supervisor, a supervisor who is in the know, who has taught classes and been on, on panels and workshops and is currently a music supervisor. And so to, to hear it directly from them, makes this book, Thinking in Sync, a really great book. The last book that I have, and I'll go back over them real quick before we end, is a very different book, and it's called Tracks That Sync. And again, it's a very, very new book. Uh, let me get the publishing date on this, 2021. So this is very, very new at the time of recording this. And this is Shift the Odds of Music Licensing in Your Favor. This is a unique book because it is targeted towards composers and musicians. And so if you are looking for something very specific to a record label, then this may not be for you, but I would still 100% recommend you pick up this book because it's really important to know what types of songs or what elements within a song will make a song more likely to get licensed. And that's what this book does really well, is it highlights maybe 10 or 20 of the unique parts of a song that makes it more likely to get used in a documentary or on a Netflix show or in a TV commercial. And there are things like the climax or the types of instruments that are used. One of the, one of the great um, eye-opening things in this book was, you know, the difference between a really ear-catching instrument or a unique instrument that isn't heard all the time, that that can make a song really stand out to a music supervisor or to an ad agency. You know, they're inundated with a lot of bedroom producers creating these soft synth sounds that are pretty ubiquitous and um, you're hearing all the time and doesn't really excite the ear. But when you hear like a real harp or a real saxophone uh, or a real flute in a mix or even just real drums is kind of rare these days, um, that can help your track stand out. And so for a record label thinking about your catalog, you're like, oh, you know, there's actually a lot of uh, interesting instruments in this album that we're about to release. And if we take away the vocals, that, that might give us a chance of having those tracks synced. So tracks that sync, is a really great book, especially if you're a musician or you want to get into composing for sync licensing. I highly recommend this book. And if you're just a record label who wants to learn more about what makes a song syncable, don't know if that's a word, 
then also pick up this book. Let's go back over them. And remember, all you need to do is go to otherrecordlabels.com slash books. The Sync Licensing for Record Labels is a specific book that we wrote here at Other Record Labels uh, that is for record labels getting into sync. It's a primer on sync licensing under the eyes of, of other record label uh, of record labels. Also the older book here, that's 12 years old, the musician's guide to licensing music. If you're able to grab that at your library or used version, I recommend it. Of course, I always recommend Donald S. Passman. All you need to know about the music business. There is a great section on, on, on music licensing, sync licensing for film and TV and TV commercials that, that will help you, but you should really own that book. Amanda Craig Thomas, Thinking in Sync, which is a book written by a music supervisor. So all about that world of music supervision. And it's not a book for, what's great about this book, Thinking in Sync, is it's not a book for people who want to become music supervisors, although I'm sure if you did want to do that, you would want to read this book. But it's more about, it's more targeted towards the record labels and the musicians who are pitching to music supervisors. And finally, Tracks That Sync, uh, which is uh, authored by Graham Barton, and it's more uh, geared towards composers and musicians and creatives, and, it's, and it focuses on the creative side of sync licensing. I hope you found that helpful. Um, and if you are following along with our series throughout the summer, or if you're just, you know, uh, listening to this, whenever you listen to this, um, hopefully you can pick up one of these books and uh, just spend some a nice time in the hammock and uh, go through these books and, and just come at this subject from a different angle. Go to otherrecordlabels.com slash books to link to all of the books I've recommended here and that I've recommended in the past. And in the world of sync licensing, just go to otherrecordlabels.com slash sync, S-Y-N-C, to download our free guide to sync licensing for record labels. Thank you.